How y'all doing? My name is Kareem Herzog, the Executive Director of the Optimum Institute of Economic Empowerment. My name is Ryan Mack, and the President of the Optimum Institute of Economic Empowerment. We're here to tell you about our community initiative, the Fulton Street Cleanup. And some of the reasons why we came up with this initiative, because we believe that people should have respect for their communities and are responsible for the upkeep of their communities. So when I see people just throwing their garbage on the street, it really bothers me. I mean, you don't go to someone's house and throw your garbage on their living room floor. So why do you litter in the streets? It's our responsibility to teach the youth to really keep the streets clean. And at the Altamont Institute of Economic Empowerment, we really care about all issues that impact the bottom line of our communities. And litter is one of those key issues. You have small businesses paying thousands of dollars every single year because of exorbitant sanitation fines for litter that they didn't even create. As individuals are walking down the streets and visiting your neighborhood and deciding not to purchase pieces of property or deciding not to build their own businesses there, that hinders property value. And we care about this. As a matter of fact, we started to have a few conversations with some small business owners. Uh, check out what they had to say. How do you feel about the excessive sanitation fines that you have to pay uh, when there's litter on the streets? Well, basically, I think it's ridiculous um, because the location of my business is actually right in front of a bus stop, which means people are always congregating in front of the building, eating candy wrappers and foods and whatever, and just dropping the litters right in front of the building. So they dropping the litter in front of the building becomes my responsibility. And therefore, sanitation decides to find me for keeping the for keeping the pavements uh, clean. So I think it's ridiculous. And so, it, 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 do you have a dollar amount in terms of how much your fines that you've had to pay? Uh, Esti and like an estimate of the previous within, year. Within the last three years, probably I've done uh, close to three thousand dollars in fines. So three thousand dollars in fines you've had to pay because people can't keep the streets clean. Yes. And so, how do you feel? about uh, the sanitation fines that small businesses like yourself incurs because of other people's trash. They're rough. Um, we go out and sweep every day, sometimes three times. It's a little bit awkward and additionally it's kind of a big penalty for us. So. And in terms of the amount of uh, the trash and litter that you've seen on the streets, has that uh, gotten you upset about that and people littering on the streets at all? A lot, yeah. It's better than it was but not much. So, and it's, it's ridiculous trash. I mean, I watched some guy throw trash on the street this morning. It's absurd. For me, it's a lot of cigarette butts. Um, the, uh, the tickets that they get from the bodega. Um, just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. We got fined once for some trash that somebody stuck out there that wasn't ours. It was from the building next door. I guess they had got a bunch of fines and decided to set their trash over here. Coffee cups, you know, it's every day with us. Um, basically, it, it, it's not a good feeling when you're coming in the morning and you have to clean up behind someone else. Um, to be penalized by sanitation for someone else's mess is a little bit hard to swallow. I'll definitely tell you guys that. Now, how do you feel about the excessive sanitation fines that are that you have to incur because of litter on the streets? <laughs> well, most of the time when we come, we discover that there are a lot of garbage is around in front of your offices. And, and uh, personally, I, I do the cleaning myself, if you ask uh, my general manager. Sometimes oh. he comes in, he oh. sees me doing the cleaning. And uh, I always have problem with people sitting around because when they sit, they leave their leftovers. They will leave it there. How do you feel about the excessive sanitation fine that your company has to pay on a yearly basis? Um, I mean, the fine is uh, tremendous, and, and uh, usually you have a lot of uh, small business around the city, around the block, doesn't have a garbage company. So uh, most of the time, they throw the garbage out, and then. Uh, Especially, I have a lot of fine of uh, garbage that doesn't belong to me. And so, how can you estimate over the past year how how, how many dollars worth of fines that you had to pay because of somebody else's trash? Uh, probably about a thousand dollars. So this is essentially an additional tax that it impacts heavily on your bottom line. Correct. Something I have no budget on my uh, on my plan, and uh, it's that uh, it's not something really you still uh, want to do. Well, as it just so happens. Um, my, bar, my establishment, being a barbershop, I tend to keep the front of my store clean at all times. 
but they have laws to where they say 18 inches from the curb um, is when they can ticket you. But if you look at the, the trash and the amount of trash that's there, none of it comes from my establishment because we have trash receptacles at all the stations and one in the bathroom and one in the back. So our customers do respect that. And we do have other businesses on that block, on this block that does contribute to that trash. And what I will say is, we do our part, but I guess it's just an economic thing for the city to ticket the businesses that do do their part. And it's very important that we keep our streets clean, not just for um, how it looks, but for pride as well because I'm also a Brooklyn resident and I love where I'm from. So I would like it to be clean as well. Sometimes I do know that I come in here every Sunday and I spend the first 10 minutes of my day picking up trash from in front of the streets, mm -hmm. which is kind of gross. I mean, you know, you always expect a little bit of trash, but when I'm pulling soda bottles and whatnots out of the planters, especially, uh, you know, there is a trash can 10 feet away from the front door and it blows my mind that people are so damn lazy they can't walk 10 feet and say they didn't feel the need to throw it in my plant pots. So as you see, litter is a very serious problem in our communities for many small business owners and everybody alike. It's a problem that needs to be stopped. And this is why we need you to come out and support the Folk Street Cleanup. It's Saturday, July 10th, starting at 8 a.m. at the Folk Street in Ralph Avenue. For more information, you can call 877-752-TEACH.